So today's video is going to be about the uh, supercharger inlet tube, the creation, fabrication of that. It took me quite a while to do this, um, so it's kind of a jumbled up video that will show my like progression um, from fabricating it to make it fit basically and then having it welded. So it does en end up with a success. It's all uh, in the car now. But yeah, it's like a step-by-step -step process. So I hope you enjoy. Let's take a look at the bottom of the supercharger here. It's kind of kind of cool. You can see this rotates and rotates these two rotors that push a bunch of air. And it's got this cool built-in bypass valve that this actuate so it'll open and shut over here so you can let air out instead of having to shove it all through here all right how's it going guys so let's look at what we got done so far for this like supercharger inlet tube so this plate is made it's going to bolt directly up to the supercharger this hole is a uh the wrong size hole let's use the hole saw to get it to like the nominal size or something close to the size we got this u-bend here we cut in half and uh, so if it doesn't work the first time get one more hopefully that's not the case but we're gonna weld that in I'm gonna make this hole exactly this hole size so that this fits in I think it'll be a stronger weld um, so that's gonna come out like that and I was hoping it would hug this a little more maybe we could cut a little higher but the higher the cut the more oval it's gonna be um, so maybe just like an inch but so that's gonna go there and then this is cut it's not done yet because it, you see how it looks kind of bunk but this is the shape of the uh, throttle body so that is gonna go on the end right here we're gonna squish this round end down so it fits right in the middle here and it'll go just like that just walking to school with supercharger sticking out of my backpack it's heavy as fuck all right, here in the shop, that's what I've done so far. You can see this fits now. All right, I got the supercharger back at home. It's kind of what I did yesterday. Uh, made the hole bigger, so it kind of fits a little closer now. Um, it's a little bit more oval, but it fits in this hole with a little bit of uh, persuading. And then, uh, gonna oval that out. I don't know if this is the right shape of oval um, because it's not installed in the car. The head is actually at a slight angle, so this, I won't know, I guess, what angle to put this oval at until I reinstall this and take a look. So I'm going to be doing that today. Got back from Menards and went ham. Let me show you what it looks like. It was like maybe an hour. It's crazy. All right, I took the hood off, chucked it over there, and just went to work on this bad boy. I got like the fuel line sticking through over there. The rail's gonna go there. And uh, what I'm mocking up here is this inlet tube. So having a little issues hitting this master cylinder, but I'm just having to like tilt it a little bit so it tucks under more. And then maybe have it tilt up a little bit um, just by ovaling out the opening so it changes the angle at which it kind of sits on that plate. You can see that fits in there. There's this little gap. So what we're gonna do is cut slits right here and open this up and then weld a triangle of metal on the sides. So it'll make this opening a little taller and then it'll meet up with the uh, throttle body a little better because uh, when air is rushing through, you don't want to like hit a wall. All right, just got back out to the shed. What I've done so far is ground this little arm down. It's gonna support a little bit of the weight of this. All right, here she is. So this is the stock bracket that actually bolts up to, I think it's the upper part of the intake manifold. There's a stud on one of them. Um, so I ground that down and now the supercharger sits. It touches like right here. So I think it'll soak up some of the vibrations. I was thinking about putting like a big piece of like rubber on here or something. Help support it up while not like having a rattling noise or anything crazy like that. But 
Yeah, so that's gonna take some of the weight off of these studs here on the head. I think that's smart, because the supercharger is probably like 50 pounds or something like that, 40 pounds. And I just got back from school, did a little bit more work today on the inlet tube. It's like uh, two steps forward, one step back sort of a thing. So I made this plate already, but it's getting pretty thin in these areas. So remade it slightly larger. You can see I traced it out a script with a scribe and then just made it however much larger. So yeah, I haven't done the big hole yet because it's this oval, Jesus, this oval shape. So I'm gonna have to orientate it and then uh, scribe it out. The other thing I did today was I cut these two slits in the side and that is so that this can fit perfectly over like that. Got a little bit more work done this week. Got this inlet tube all ready to go. Gonna be welding it up Monday. Today is Saturday. Uh, let me throw it in the car and just show you what it looks like and uh, some of the features. All right, here it is in the car. You can kind of see how it looks. Comes out nice and straight. It's got a straight shot right here, which is where the cold air intake's gonna be. I think I'm gonna be getting rid of this headlight, doing a ram air straight in. So uh, yeah, the throttle body's just gonna bolt up just like that. It'll look something like that. Um, that all meets up pretty nice, doesn't hit alternator. Um, I'm gonna be mounting this up over here now. I kind of like where that is. Um, yeah, so one more thing to look at, which I just kind of added last second. Look at the light over here. So if you look down in there, there's that little uh, nub there. And I'm gonna be running this brake, brake booster vacuum off of there. I'm gonna get a 90 degree T, just to go boom, boom, right into there. Um, Alright guys, thank you so much for watching. Uh, I know this video is probably super jumbled up with the whole process of building this inlet tube, but we got it done. Let me show you what it looks like. Here it is, it's been sitting like this for a couple days now. And we got the inlet tube all welded up, so there it is. Right now this may look a little bit crooked, the uh, alignment of that throttle body, but um, there's actually some burrs, not really burrs, but the welds make it not flat on this flange, so it is like tilted like that a little bit. But yeah, that's what it looks like. We welded it on the inside, so that's why it's not not flat over there. So I'm gonna be grinding that down um, pretty soon here, but yeah, I'll take it out. So here it is. Got these plates on either side. Um, yeah, so those are covering up in here. You can see I had to make this more of an oval, so cut little triangles, widen that out. And then this is welded all on the inside. And then I added a port back here for the brake booster line. And this is all welded on the inside too. So it should be airtight and good. Um, it might be adding some JB weld or filler in those in this triangle here. I'm not sure exactly how to do that, but I think maybe some air could get trapped in there. But yeah, this bad boy is all done. All right, it's all wrapped up. Thanks for watching. If you can subscribe and like, that'd be dope. And uh, stay tuned for when this bad boy is all done. Peace. You can celebrate with a beer, I think.